1876, an audacious and bizarre plot unfolded in Springfield, Illinois, involving one of America's most revered figures, President Abraham Lincoln. A gang of criminals, led by a small-time crime boss named James Big Jim Kennelly, conspired to steal Lincoln's body from its tomb and hold it for ransom. This daring scheme would forever be etched in history as the attempted grave robbery of President Lincoln. The mastermind behind the plan was Benjamin Boyd, a skilled engraver of counterfeit currency plates who worked for Kennelly's gang. Boyd's incarceration in Joliet State Prison for counterfeiting activities had left the gang short on counterfeit money. In a desperate bid to secure Boyd's release and replenish her counterfeit funds, Kennelly enlisted two of his associates, Terrence Mullen and Jack Hughes, for a grave robbery like no other. Their plan was to steal Lincoln's body, an act they believed would force the government to pay a hefty ransom of $200,000 in gold, and they would secure Boyd's release. To execute this audacious plan, they needed an insider who could guide them through the intricate operation of stealing the president's remains. Enter Louis Sweggles, a man they believe was an experienced grave robber. However, Kennelly's gang did not know that Swaglis was actually a paid informant for the Secret Service. He had infiltrated the gang and was secretly reporting their every move to his handler, Patrick D. Tyrell, the chief of the Chicago District Office of the Secret Service. As the night of November 7, 1876 approached, Kennelly's gang believed they had a foolproof plan. On that fateful night, the gang arrived at Oak Ridge Cemetery in Springfield, where Lincoln's body rested within a white marble sarcophagus. The tomb itself had minimal security, with a single padlock on the chamber door and no night watchman or groundskeeper to protect it. The gang's limited grave robbing experience meant they could not pick the lock, so they resorted to cutting it with a file. Inside the tomb chamber, they encountered another challenge. The 500-pound cedar and lead coffin in which Lincoln's body lay Lacking the necessary equipment and skills to move it, they found themselves in an impasse. It was at this moment that a gunshot rang out from outside the tomb, inadvertently fired from a detective's pistol. The noise startled the would-be grave robbers and prompted them to flee the scene. As the gang hastily retreated, the law enforcement officials and detectives who had been lying in wait for them arrived at the tomb. The grave robbers had escaped, but they were now the target of a manhunt. Within days, authorities apprehended Mullen and Hughes in Chicago. The failed grave robbers were arrested and prepared to face justice. This plot to steal Lincoln's body had unraveled dramatically, turning the criminals into fugitives. In the aftermath, the cities of Springfield were left in shock and disbelief that anyone would attempt such a heinous act against their beloved president's final resting place. The audaciousness of the plan and its near success made headlines across the country. For John Carroll Power, the custodian of Lincoln's tomb, the incident was a wake-up call. Fearing that professional grave robbers might still target the tomb, he devised a plan to further safeguard Lincoln's remains. Under the cover of darkness, Power and five trusted friends reburied Lincoln in a hidden, unmarked grave within the tomb's basement. This story of the plot to steal Lincoln's body would forever remain etched in history. It highlighted the lengths to which some would go for personal gain and served as a stark reminder of the need to protect the final resting place of one of America's greatest leaders. <laughs>